good morning welcome back to my channel we i am making some coffee this morning i hear a kid crying i think it's nearly i think she's okay i'm making coffee this morning i've actually went well for now i just i just like to switch things up um back to like my, my old way with the y'all this is like my all-time favorite coffee but i also really love the Tarani at Classic Syrup and Half and Half. I love that too. I just kind of switch it up. But um, I'm just making some coffee. I've got it in my big Starbucks cup. I've got to go get groceries. So I'm making lots of coffee this morning. We're going to grab some groceries. I'm sharing. I've never made this, but I'm sharing a crock pot recipe that looks really good. It's supposed to be, I think, a rainy evening today. So it's going to be like a perfect crock pot recipe today. Um, and so I'm sharing that. Hopefully it's good. Um, I am not necessarily, I'm not really sharing a meal prep today because I actually decided I'm just going to do wraps this week. Um, it's been a while since I've like done that, like got some like rotisserie chicken or chicken and did wraps all week. And that just sounded really good this week. So that's what I'm doing all week. So I'm not really going to be meal prepping. I got two rotisserie chickens. Um, and I like to have all that chicken on hand. And that way if I want to do that for dinner one night too, something with a rotisserie chicken, I've got lots of it on hand. Um, so I'm not going to be meal prepping, but I am going to be sharing um, a crock pot recipe and my grocery haul this week with you guys. And so y'all ready to go to school? Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could probably use a smidge more creamer or maybe just, I might put a little bit of syrup in there. Um, Let's do that. Make it a little bit sweeter. You need to put your crown. She's got a little crown right here. You trying to put your crown on? Come here, I help you. I love it. All right, so I've got everything laid out. I'm gonna run into my car and grab my camera. I am gonna show y'all, I'm actually getting ready to take everything, mostly everything out of the refrigerator and clean it. Wipe it down really good. I do like a really quick wipe down each week, but usually I don't take everything out and do it. I'm gonna take everything, probably except for the sides out and do those. But if y'all are wondering what it looks like at the beginning of the next week, we, um, so this is kind of what it looks like we're out of drinks. Some, we do have some blueberries left and a few carrots left back there, but most of those are gone. Um, we still have a good bit of these left. Um, these have been in here. We haven't had to restock those. I've got some veggie dip. That veggie dip that I shared last week, uh, I made it again as well. And I've got the stuff to make it again because there's not much left in here. Um, and then I should have grabbed another thing of coffee. I do have one back there, so I might be good for a little bit. I do need to go to the grocery store and grab something that they, uh, probably a couple things that they didn't have them on the grocery order. Still got lots of smoothies, so I can kind of stick these together yogurts and cheese we got this to refill for the lunchables um so yeah that's kind of what it's looking like kind of towards the end of or the beginning of the next week honestly most of the time there's not even that much left but as you can tell from last week it is a lot more emptier um and so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna show y'all a quick grocery haul and then i'm gonna clean out this refrigerator and wipe it down really good and restock everything and then we will get to my crock pot recipe and go ahead and put that on sometime this morning so it can cook most of the day he's this is a layout of everything i got ren is my big helper and she helped me bring everything in and lay it out all right so we got let's start with the pro we'll start back here okay. so we've got some lunchables the kids mainly eat the cheese lunchables so i just stuck with those this week instead of the cracker ones this is what they mainly prefer um i also what happened to my meat millie jane look at this kid come here i hope that's not leaking she has my oven mitts and she went and got the steaks and was picking it up yeah it's not leaking i've got to bring this you can't play with those okay so i got this away from <laughs> it's not leaking or anything she's fine but um i got we did not get to do our philly cheese steaks last week i shared we were going to do them and I needed to get the meat, and I, we never did that and made them. So I did get the stuff to do these because I enjoyed those so much, y'all. So I did those Philly cheese steaks in a bowl. I so I got this from Walmart, ribeye steak, shaved steak. This looks really good. So we're going to, uh, we've got, it's a pound. Yeah, so we're going to do that this week. This goes for my crock pot recipe. So this is the only chicken that they had at Walmart. They have been out of all the chicken on the grocery order. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, we got some celery. 
some of this stuff, like I said, is for my recipe this the week. The is open. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. I got a pineapple. Mm -hmm. um, I need to go ahead and cut that up. I got some carrots. We've got a thing of blackberries. I love blackberries. You love blackberries. We got an onion. Uh, I think we've got a couple more onions in the kitchen. Um, but we did yeah, get that did. for the recipe just to make sure I've got one. I've got some potatoes. We've got some bananas. We've got cucumbers. Two things of strawberries. Two big things of strawberries. Pickles, yes. So the kids really wanted pickles on the grocery order, and Rhea asked if I would get two jars of pickles, so I did. Um, we got some mushrooms, we got some uh, corn, frozen corn, we got some cream cheese, shredded lettuce for my wraps this week. Something they didn't, they were out of, which is I have to go to the grocery store today and get them. I've got one left, but they were out of my tortilla wraps. We've got some Pringles, got um some sea salt i actually got the delaney one of her favorite things to bring for lunch is like crackers kind of like a really snacky lunch for school crackers and laughing cow cheese and they didn't have actually i didn't realize they gave this to me because it wouldn't add to my grocery order but apparently it did so i needed some more crackers for that we got some laughing cow cheese um we got some granola bars cheese it we got a thing of these as well um i'm missing some stuff we got some half and half chicken broth two things of cinnamon rolls i got the great value ones this time they're just a lot cheaper so i decided to get those uh sour cream we needed some more of that for um my dip that i'm gonna make again veggie straws ritz crackers got a couple things of blueberry blueberry muffin mix we might do those i might do that for kids one morning before school or um sometimes i make them at night so that way we can wake up and they're ready to go or maybe during the weekend we'll do that uh, i got two rotisserie chickens for my wraps so i'm gonna uh, go ahead and shred these and put them in a bowl so they're ready to go uh, we got some white candy macadamia nut cookies to put um in our little cake stand um so i got a big pack of these ethan really likes these iced oatmeal ones so i decided to get <laughs> he's eating his breakfast i got the variety pack there's like little chocolate chip ones alphabet cookies so, so the yes there's all of those in there the alphabet chocolate chip and the oatmeal the kids don't like the oatmeal ones but ethan really likes those I don't like kids need some more mouthwash uh, just some countertop spray, some stainless steel spray. Oh, and down here we've got some drinks. We've got bread. So this is the bread we make for sandwiches each week. We got some hoagie rolls. Will you, Brian? Will you grab him another uh, piece of his waffle, please? Uh, got some hoagie rolls for the Philly cheese steaks, and we got some sourdough bread. We're gonna. I thought we could do this for sandwiches. Ethan might really like this for sandwiches this week. But we're gonna um, uh, make this. I'm gonna toast some of this up to go with our dinner tonight. Drinks right here and just a small thing of milk. The kids have not been really eating much cereal lately. And so I feel like we've just been wasting milk lately. So I just got a small thing of it so we don't waste it. And that's it. That's everything. Oh, did I? Oh, I think I did forget that. Toast your strudels. Did I forget anything else? I think I, I think I think you forgot the mushrooms. Nope, I think I said that. I think you got everything. I think I did. Yeah. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best Say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to live. Get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know 
got a stocked fridge. Gavin, come here. Got everything pretty much stocked up in here. We've got a stocked pantry. For the most part, it's okay. Um, I, the kids have not been eating that much cereal lately, so I'll eventually restock some of the cereal, but got some of that restocked. All right, we are going to get started with our crock pot meal. I'm gonna show y'all what we're making. Um, we ate out last night, so typically today is our Chick-fil-A night, but we decided I wanted to cook something, but I wanted something really easy since the girls have dance. Something I can just come home to and be completely ready. So um, I looked up crock pot recipes, of course, WW friendly. We're gonna do the sweet savory and stuff, slow cooker, creamy chicken, and corn soup. It looks really good, so I thought we could do this. And then I have the sourdough bread. And if they want a grilled cheese, like Ethan and the girls, if they want it, it's gonna be very loud, by the way, in this video. I was gonna do this during that time, but um, I wanted to go ahead and get it on. If Ethan and the girls also want a grilled cheese with it, I can make the grilled cheese out of sourdough bread, or I might just do some, like, uh, toast the bread up with some butter on it, is what I was thinking. But we're gonna get started on that. Are you playing with all my boxes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get started with that. I've actually got all my veggies chopped up. We need a cup of each, which I don't have quite that, but I've got some corn, celery, and onion. I've also gotta chop up my potatoes. I have not done that yet, so as soon as I pour these in there, I'm gonna chop those up. Um, we've got some corn. We're gonna do this whole bag of corn. We've got uh, two pounds of chicken, a little bit over that. I'm gonna, just gonna use all that. We're gonna use this whole thing of chicken broth. It is not the low sodium. She actually recommended not to use a low sodium in this, which is fine with me. And then a bunch of seasonings. So I'll tell you all the seasonings as we're going. Some garlic, potatoes, if I'm missing anything. And then we'll do some things at the end as well. Once everything's pretty much done cooking, we'll add a few more things to it to make it creamy and all that. So I'm going to kind of start throwing everything in here. All right, I'm going to start with my chicken. I'm going to put it all in there. Got three, about three chicken breasts is about two pounds. And get through this before I have to grab gallon. So I've got that. I am going to add these veggies and then um, add the corn and then I need to chop up my potatoes. Corn. All right, I've got my potatoes chopped up. It says 10 ounces. Uh, my potatoes, I get potatoes for free on WW. So I didn't measure how many I have. I just chopped a bunch of them up. Just into bite-sized pieces. We're gonna do this whole thing of chicken broth. Four cloves of garlic, so I'm just gonna throw some garlic in here. All right, so I'm just gonna start my seasonings. I'm not necessarily gonna measure all of them. We're gonna do garlic powder. I'll leave the recipe below if y'all want the actual exact recipe. Onion powder. Kevin's down here banging my cabinets. Paprika. We got oregano. Hey, bud. What's that? I'm gonna do a little bit of cayenne pepper. I don't want it to be too spicy for the kids. Hey, are we, I'm gonna, I'm cooking supper. Are you excited for supper? We're gonna do some salt. I don't have kosher salt, so we're just gonna use regular. We're gonna do lots of pepper. Um, am I missing anything? I do not have, I need to do a bay leaf. I do not have time, so I'm leaving that out. I am gonna add a bay leaf to this. How many does it, one dried bay leaf, we're gonna add. And that's it. So this is actually just the first, first part of it. Um, we are, I'm gonna let this cook on low for six hours. And then we've got some more things to add to it. Turn to low, make sure I plug it in. All right, so I think it's ready. So we're gonna let this cook and I'll be back later to finish it up and let y'all know what I think about it. All right, we are going to check on the soup. It's been six hours, so it is, well, this part is done. I'm gonna take the chicken out. We're gonna shred it. We've got some half and half, some cream cheese here. I'm gonna start by doing this though. Taking all this out. Shredding this chicken. Ready. All right, got all my chicken. This is a lot of chicken. Pour all that back in there. All right, we're gonna do three fourths a cup of half and half. And 
then we've got two ounces of cream cheese. And then we're gonna give that a stir. Ignore the dent in the side of the crock pot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm gonna use the bowl that I was shredding the chicken in. About one and a half, and then about two teaspoons of water. All right, I'm gonna give this a stir. Pour that in to let it thicken. Get the leaves out as I see them. All right, we're gonna let this cook for another 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more, because I really want my potatoes to be a little softer. Um, so we're gonna let this cook for I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour on high now. All right, so dinner is done. This is what it looks like. Are you ready to eat? Daddy and Lainey and Ren are almost home to eat and take the girls to dance class tonight so I could finish up this. It didn't get very thick, so I probably could have tried to um, thicken it again with the thickener, but um, it's okay. I have tried it. It is good. It doesn't have, I don't want to say it has a bland flavor. Um, it could, I feel like it could use something. Have I made this before? I feel like I made something similar. So I've got that. Hold on a second. And then I just started the grilled cheeses. So this is, I put just regular, just grilled cheese for everybody. I'm actually having one too. Uh, this sourdough bread uh, is seven points for two slices and they are really big. So I put spray butter on mine. So I'm gonna have in a little bit of extra cheese. I'm gonna have some, uh, one of those with mine as well. This is only four points. Um, it all depends on what you get for free. If you guys are on Weight Watchers, if you don't get potatoes for free, obviously it might be a little more or, you know, you can click on her website and you can like calculate your points, but um, I think it's pretty good. I am going to have it with my soup and then I will report back on what we think. All right, I've got a rice plates fixed. Everybody's almost home. This is what my soup looks like. A good bit for four points. And then I think this would be earlier than meal prep. Um, and then I've got my grilled cheese. It looks so good on the sourdough bread. So this is my nine to 11, 12. This is actually a 13 point dinner for me. All right, so we just got done eating. So I'm gonna let Ethan tell y'all what he thought of the soup. Um, I So the more we ate it, I would not make this again. It was pretty bland. It, I do love, I really do love pretty much all her recipes, but this is not a favorite of mine. What is your thoughts on it? This tastes like chicken water. <laughs> I feel like I've made something similar to this. It's so hard to remember what recipes I've made. Anyway, so I wouldn't make it again, but I'm sure some people love stuff like this. There, a lot of, a lot of she had reviews on there that people really liked it. We just didn't love it. So, anyways, I'm gonna end this out. We are done with dinner and getting the kiddos to bed. So, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for our day. You guys hear, y'all hear Callan over there laughing. And I've got my pajamas on, so I'm not gonna show my face. But I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.